was awesome. That's some creativity right there. So these sign trucks, not that bus, but these trucks that just have the signs, usually they're advertising strippers. They do a lot more than that. They do uh, Circus Soleil and stuff like that. But they do a lot of these uh, escorts and strip clubs and stuff like that. It's kind of it's kind of raunchy, but that's what Las Vegas is, raunchy. And we pretty much own raunchy. But anyway, the county, Clark County, is going to limit the number of, of those advertising trucks that can go up and down the strip. Because a lot of them clog traffic on purpose. And sometimes there's five of them back to back to back to back. And they slow down to 25 miles an hour. So you get more exposure. So I don't blame them. I mean, it's an unlimited uh, business right now. But whenever they set that up, the, the, the dumbass uh, county commissioner should have limited it each person to a certain amount of trucks they didn't so now when you go down especially at night you drive down the strip a lot of your traffic is slowed down by these advertising uh, trucks there's a big bus tour It seems like a pretty fun idea, really, because you got a uh, convertible top up there at the second. Everybody sits on the second uh, level. And I don't know what the uh, narration is, but the big bus has been in business for decades, so it must be pretty good. sure how many Denny's there are on the Las Vegas Strip. There's that one. There's one at um, right next to Casino Royale. I think there's one more at least in the uh, south end. I don't really remember. A lot of these uh, strip centers have businesses that have been there seriously for more than 20 years. Anytime a business has been somewhere for 20 years, okay, here, here's my example. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Back to back, back to back. So, and they they really catch your eye. You know, you got to give them credit for that. They definitely catch your eye. So whatever they're selling, you've seen it. If you're walking down the strip, innocently, you are going to see some bad stuff. This place is not for children, by the way. But anyway, back to the businesses, the ones that have been here forever... You know, they're doing something right. Look at that. There's an all-you-can-eat back there. Korean barbecue. If you've never had Korean barbecue, they have tofu on their uh, buffet. And you would never know that you're eating tofu. Now they have meat too. It's not a veg uh, vegan or a vegetarian uh, restaurant. And they had a lot of meat. In fact, that place has 
mostly meat. But there is a place up on uh, Spring Mountain called the Tofu Hut. Probably the best meal I've ever had. And at least 50% of it was tofu. And I do not eat tofu. I didn't think I did. But I suddenly did. I didn't know I was eating tofu. But it was absolutely delicious. Now, I ate a lot of uh, pork and uh, beef strips and stuff like that. Because I am a meat eater. But I didn't think I was a tofu eater. But suddenly uh, I did. I was. And I did not get the t-shirt. Oh, that was a... Phew, you can get high out on the street. That was a big fog of pot. Yeah, those guys were just talking about this place. Korean barbecue and sushi. They were laughing at it. But it's doing good. It's been here forever. That Tacos El Gordo is just absolutely a cash cow. So there's another place in here that has been here for at least 20 years. I have no idea how it attracts people. I don't understand it. It's a lounge. And one thing I can say for them, they, they don't let people in there with a gun or a knife or their own alcohol. They frisk you pretty much. They do the wand. Uh, they're pretty d diligent about it. So I mean, this is the all-you-can-eat uh, Korean kamachi. I don't know if that's kamachi. I have no idea. But their menu, if you don't do the buffet, I have to say, it's you got to be a nuclear physicist to uh, understand it. There's just too many choices, in my opinion. Just do the buffet. So this is a hookah. Hoka. I don't know what hookah is. Be truthful. Uh, hookah was doing their thing long before marijuana. Yeah, I think it originated in India. But this Luna Lounge is a hookah. And this, this guy uh, will, uh, I mean, he'll wand you and do a background check and make sure you never kicked a dog. He's pretty strict. So, also, this divine certified Italian also a very complicated menu um, it's been here forever so this is right across the street from Resorts World so if you're staying at Resorts World or Encore or Wynn Treasure Island you're, you're within striking distance walk down here and give one of these uh, places a try they're obviously good I haven't eaten at any of them but, like I said, they've been here a long time. They survived. That means they're good. And that's the end of the North Tour again. <laughs>